Hi guys, so we are at page 346 of Tarot Guide to the Body and we're still uh, featuring the leg and foot. So this time uh, it's the bones of knee, leg and foot. Okay, so looking at the image 7.8 here, it's an anterior view of the right leg and foot. Uh, as you can see, the foot is plantar flex, okay? So you have here the femur, the, the patella, we have the tibia uh, femoral joint. Okay, because of the tibia and the femur, that's the word uh, that came from the word um, tibia and femur, right? Tibia femoral joint. And then this is the proximal tibia uh, femoral uh, joint. Why is it called tibia femoral joint? Because of the tibia and the fibula. Okay. And we also have the distal proximal, meaning um, superior, distal is inferior. So we also have the tibial fibular joint. Okay. We have the talo, um clural joint here. <clears throat> My apologies. <clears throat> My. So again, um, the knee is formed by the articulation of the distal femur and proximal tibia. So this is the one that is really articulating. So you can see the fibula is not even touching the femur. Okay. So the tibia femoral uh, or knee joint is the largest synovial joint in the body. It is a modified hinge joint. It is capable of flexion and extension. And when is the, uh, the knee is in a flex pos uh, uh, in a flex position, it can immediately and lateral rotate the, uh, the knee. Guys, I have um, indicated this uh, many, many, many times, right? So once it is in a flex position, it can immediately or rotate, okay? So the region of the knee also includes the small patella, which is the kneecap, okay? So and the proximal fibula. So the, yeah, this is sort of part of... Okay, so... The bony uh, surfaces of the knee are superficial and easily uh, accessible. The tibia and fibula are the bones of the leg. So the tibia, the shin bones, um, runs superficially from the knee to the ankle, just as the ulna runs superficially from the elbow to the wrist. So the fibula's relationship to the fibula is also similar to the radius relationship to the ulna. It is lateral to the tibia and virtually deep to the surrounding muscles. Okay, so if you can re um, recall um, the videos that we did with regards to the shoulder girdle and also the elbow. Okay, so, so the fibula bears only 10% of the body's weight and rightfully so. It is the thinnest bone in the body in proportion to its length. Okay, so it's very thin if you can see. Okay, so we're looking at the image 7.9 here. It is a dorsal view of the right foot. So we have the calcaneus, we have the talus, we have the coboid, we have the navicular, and we have the cuneiform here. And we have the tar uh, transverse tarsal joint here. These are the tarsals. And because um, it's a tarsal and um, metatarsal, it's called metatarsal joint, that joint. This is the intermetatarsal joint because it's inter- and these guys are the metatarsals, okay? And again, because a uh, metatarsal and uh, the phalanges, and there's another joint there. Again, if you know all the points, it's very, very easy to um, pinpoint where are, are these joints located. Because uh, just like ligaments, they, they actually uh, give you hints, or it's very self-explanatory based on the words. Okay, interphalangeal joints, again, is interphalangeal. Okay, so I'll see you guys in 347.